How do you fix a broken net worth? Some of you guys out there, you may have a no net worth currently. You may even have a negative net worth, meaning you have more liabilities than assets. Today, I'm gonna give you guys five steps on how you can fix this. I cannot wait to share this with you guys today. Hey, subscribers, thank you so much for joining me today. I am Jeremy. This is the Financial Education Channel where we talk personal finance, entrepreneurship, and the stock market. And today we're talking about how do you fix a broken net worth? Guys, I'm gonna give you five steps to do that. Now, what is net worth? A net worth is basically your assets versus your liabilities. And if you have more assets and liabilities, then you have a positive net worth. If you have more liabilities than assets, meaning more debt and those kinds of things, then you actually have a negative net worth, guys. Now, some of you out there, my younger subscribers, you might not have very much of a net worth built at all. Some of you might even unfortunately have a net worth that's negative right now because you have more debt than you have assets. So we're gonna talk about this, guys, how to build it, how to fix it. If you like this video today, hit a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you have anything to add. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Let's get into this. So number one thing on how to fix a broken net worth is you need to stop adding liabilities. You gotta stop adding liabilities. Liabilities is what hurts your net worth overall, guys. So if you keep buying new things all the time, then that's just adding more liabilities. You know, especially if it's things that just depreciate, like maybe buying new cars all the time, those kinds of things, guys. You know, a lot of people think you need to have this or have that as far as liabilities, and you really don't. You don't need a new car every two, three years. You know, you can drive your car for five, ten years down the road. You don't need to get a new car all the time. So many people think, oh, I need to get a new smartphone every year. I need to get a smartphone every new year. There's millions of people that get new smartphones every single year. They upgrade to the new one and the new one, and it's just adding another liability because in a couple of years, that smartphone's going to be worth nothing, guys. So you got to stop adding these liabilities to your life. A lot of people will say things like, oh, you know what? I make money from my phone because I, I you know I'm a salesperson or whatever, so I need to have the, the best phone or whatever. No, if you had a, the iPhone 6S, it, by getting the iPhone 7, you're not going to suddenly make more money. You're going to make the same amount of money. There's nothing that's going to upgrade you somehow to make more money. Same thing if you have the Samsung or whatever kind of phone. So, so many people buy new phones every year and really they just wanted to have the hottest phone out there or they're, they're brainwashed to think somehow that's going to bring me more money when it's not really. So you've got to stop adding all these different liabilities to your life. That's key number one if you want to fix your net worth. Stop adding liabilities. Number two, you got to get rid of any non-necessary liabilities. An example of a non-necessary liability is something like maybe you have an old car that's paid off, right? And you don't really need that car. You just like having it around. You drive it every once in a while or whatnot. And you think that's not really a liability to me because it's already paid off. You know, I own that car. It's absolutely a liability because every day you have that car, it becomes worth less money. Also, if you have that car and you drive around every once in a while, you need to have auto insurance. That's probably an extra five, 50 to 100 bucks a month you're paying in auto insurance for that car. You also need to pay for the maintenance of that car, oil changes, all these kinds of things, guys. This all adds up, and that is how you get a liability. Another thing of uh, you know non non necessary liabilities would be. So many of us Americans specifically, we have so much crap in our homes and apartments that we don't need, that we either hardly use or we almost never use. And we have so much crap that either we have to buy a, even a bigger home or bigger apartment to store all this crap, or you have to buy self-storage. You know how many millions of people out there pay for self-storage every month? 100, 200, 300 bucks just to store crap that is basically worthless. It's basically a bunch of worthless crap that they're just hoarding, just keeping, thinking it's worth value. No, you're better off just selling all that junk at a yard sale and then you can actually downsize the size of your home or apartment, pay a lot cheaper prices. You, you're going to be able to afford your home or apartment a lot better. Then you'll actually be able to save on bills because the bigger home or apartment you have, guess what? The more you have to pay an electric and all those kinds of things and insurance because you have a bigger place. All these kinds of stuff, guys. So there's just, there's literally tens of millions of Americans out there that literally just hoard stuff that they think, oh man, well, maybe one day I'll use it. And they never even use it, guys. Imagine how many bikes are piled up in people's garage and those people never even ride bikes or they got their kids' bikes still in their garage and 
heck, their their kids like 17, 18 years old now, and they never ride their bike anymore. They drive their car around. So you got to get rid of non necessary liabilities, guys. There's a thousand different things we go into with that subject alone. Number three. You got to start making your money into money. So hopefully you got some excess money at the end of your paycheck or at the end of your your month if you own a business or something like that. You got to make that money into money somehow. So if you're a conservative person, you may just want to have a CD account, something like that, where you earn two, three percent interest a year or whatever, a long term CD account or savings account where you even earn less interest. If you're a little more aggressive, but still not really that aggressive. You can do something like investing in an ETF, which just basically stocks however much or down the stock market goes, how much up or down your your money goes. You can you know have ETFs, those kinds of things, index funds you could be invested in, or you can be a little more aggressive like I do and be a stock picker where you actually research companies and you try to put your money in the best position to get a hopefully a 10, 20, 30% gain every year. That's what I do personally with my money, but not everybody's fit to do that, and I understand that completely. Not everybody wants to put in the work or do the research, those kinds of things, and that's fine, but you've got to find a way to make your money into money, because if you're not making your money into money and it's just sitting there on the sidelines, what good is it? You're actually, that, that money's becoming less every year because inflation goes up, so every year the dollar is probably worth a little less than it was in the year before and a little less the next year, so you've got to find a way to make that money into money, and that's how you can really build up your net worth guys. Number four, you got to make more money. You got to make more money, you know, by making more money. And as long as you're not spending on a bunch more liabilities, if you're making more money, then that's more money that comes into you that you can either put towards savings account, put toward a CD like we just talked about, put toward an index fund, an ETF, or stock picking and those kinds of things. So that if you can just find a way to make an extra five, let's say 10,000 a year, that doesn't sound like a huge amount of money, but if you can just make an extra five, 10,000 a year, and that money is going toward the, you know, making you more money, that adds up to a lot of money over a 20, 30, 40 year span, guys. It's a massive amount of money. Now, how you do this is you got to ask yourself, in your current workplace, is there a chance, a realistic chance that within the next year or two, you can get promoted to get a better job? Is there? If there's not, then you got to either find a better job that you can make more money at, or you got to think about starting your own business where you can be successful at starting your own business. And if you need help starting a business, I have like at least 20, 30 videos on this channel where you can look into how to start a business and, and how to grow a, uh, your own business and those kinds of things. I'm an entrepreneur. I give tons of entrepreneur tips on this channel. So you, that's how you got to think. You got to think, I need to make money somehow, more money than I'm making now so I can increase my net worth at a much more rapid pace than if you're just st stuck in that same job and doing it for 10, 20 years, guys, and you're not making any more money. Next one up. Last one, step number five, is you gotta make passive income somehow. This is something I didn't do until basically the past year. Passive income, I have a great video on it if you guys wanna check that out, if you haven't already checked it out, 10 ways to make passive income online. Passive income is basically when you create something in the past and you can make money for months or years into the future with basically minimum or no effort at all, guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I make passive income. Like I said, I didn't make passive income for a long time. I now make passive income from this channel. I have videos on this channel that make me 150, 200 bucks a month. One video, we're talking one video, you know, some of my better videos like the stock market for beginners and those types of things was bring in 150 bucks a month just from one video, one video. That's how you can really make passive income. Other beautiful thing about passive income is many times you can make passive income through doing a hobby. For instance, this channel is my favorite hobby. It's my hobby. It's what I do. I'd love to do it. I would do it even if I wasn't get paid, wasn't getting paid at all. I did it when I wasn't getting paid at all. So uh, say, say you're a photographer, you can maybe start a website that you know shows off all your photography or whatever you do. Maybe you are a photographer for lakes, you go all around lakes all around the United States and that's like your hobby. You take pictures of lakes all around the United States. Well, guess what? You can start a website and as long as you know SEO and those kinds of things, when people want to look at pictures of lakes, your website will pop up and then you can sell Google ads on that and you can bring income to you as for something that... You would do no matter what, but now you actually get to make money from it for photos you might have taken years ago. Things like that. And there's, like I said, if you want to really check out Passive Income, watch that video because I go into a ton of different ways you can make money on it. And it's awesome, guys. It's awesome to be able to create something that you create no matter what and you can make money from it for years to come, guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So Passive Income, very powerful. Find a way to make Passive Income. Do it. It's absolutely a phenomenal thing, guys. 
I hope this helped tremendously today in understanding five ways you can fix a broken net worth. Let me know if you guys have any more, um, you know, steps that you think I maybe should include in this video that you want to say. I would love to hear from you guys in that comment section. If you came across this video and not subscribed yet, you may want to. We talk personal finance in the channel, talk entrepreneurship. I'm an entrepreneur. I give a lot of my business tips out. And we talk the stock market and how to make your money into money the most in this channel. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.